Show me what lies ahead. From beyond the well road. Please, Lady Moira. My wife grows ill. I will attend to her soon, I promise. But half. Are you a nun? I thought nuns dressed like geese. Nothing of the sort. I am Moira of Weaker, Hafton's herbalist. He is an ill man, and I do what I can to give succor and hope. I saw him fight. He was in fine health then. Thanks in part to my soothing tonics. Would you pardon me? I will attend to her soon, I promise. But Hafton needs me now. We crush them in spring. No sooner. That is the plan. Yet my people suffer day by day. Your people? Do you rule a shadow kingdom under my nose? Our people suffer from these brutal winter raids. This war must end. That is my first concern. The time to strike is... when is... I say we strike. Haftan's hammer protects this land. Tell my people that, King Rishia. As you wish, my lord. Who is this? Come closer. Havdan Ragnarsson. My sword arm answers your call. Thank you for your tribute, Eivor Wolfkist. Your battles and deeds are well known to me. And you are the hero of Jorvik. So sing my skulls. Not just any hero. Eivor brought order to the city when King Rishie could not. They say you rooted out a gang of thieves and traitors. Not alone. But I led the charge. You gifted my silver to the carls and chills of Jorvik. To men and women who needed it most. A foolish choice. The coin never left King Rishi's treasury. I try never to regret the decisions I make in a time of war. Agreed. To second guess ourselves would only stall the victory. I don't regret sending Ferovid to lead our strike against the Picts. In spite of Eivor winning the day. Eivor and I felt them, Hafton Jarl, so you could sweep in, stab a few cold corpses, and claim a glorious victory. <laughs> Old friend, your jests hit like Odin's spear, always on the mark. I would not be here without your hammer, Great Jarl. Please accept this, your share of the loot we want today. A thing of beauty. Hmm. Frankish, I believe. What do you think, Eivor? A fine piece of work, fit for the lips of a king. Or a man who makes kings. There's wisdom in this one, Faravid. By your leave, Lord, I must return to my forward camp. It's a long, cold ride. Two-faced, smirking glory hound. My Lord, in your summons, you said... Shh. Not here. Not now. Dance, sing, and fill yourself with ale. There, I will weave a tale of tales of... I thought, be still. He 
should drink good. You the care to test the speed wine. of your fair warning, Joe? My fists have hammered nail swift and strong. My luck overspills like the ocean's tide. Then come and see. These dice hold for you. Locked from the other side. But Farrafin is the one out there fighting. Dogs do not yearn to be yards. Ah, Eivor. Come, let me show you a wonder. Look at this, he and I, together! You have earned great fame, won many battles across England. But not alone, no, no. Bjorn Ironside, fearless Uber, 
Eva the Boneless, Sacred Snake and I, great warriors all, my brothers. Gold is good, and battle better, but glory never dies. Forever it lives in the Hall of Heroes, high on Valor's steed. Together we have conquered. Together with my friends, my clan. Faravid, above all others. One sword is not an army, Eivor. Even a hero needs loyal friends. I have never lost sight of that. Never. Have you room for one more among those you call friend? What does friendship mean to you, Eivor? Friendship goes beyond words. It is a solemn bond, a chain unbroken. Spoken like the Fowler, it is indeed a kind of magic. You wriggle like an eel in a basket, Hafton. What has caught you? Friendship can also spoil, like rotten meat. After all these years, he dares to bite my hand. Fan of it. He seems a good and loyal man. Seems, yes. As a bright sky in winter seems warm. But rumors fly of little men plotting treason in the dark. Have you proof of his treachery? Not yet. That is where you enter my saga. Prove this for me. Discover if... Faravid has been disloyal. Then we shall talk of oaths. Start me somewhere. Give me something to go on. You see this from a sea unicorn. I filter my mead and wine with it. I've heard of such beasts. They swim below the ice, beyond the world's edge. And their horns protect against poison. You believe Faroin wants to poison you? I fear he has tried countless times and failed them all. You don't believe me, but I know the man. His gifts of wine, his easy smile, his envy, his plots. Look. Learn the truth. Dig up. <coughs> Unearth his treason. Why trust me with such a task? Jorvik, you stop the ill deeds of Audun and his swarm of rats. You can do the same here. Like a good sword, honor has two edges. I'll help you. Faravid has left the feast already, heading for his camp upriver. Join his warband, and behind his back, dig. And if I find nothing, if he's a good and loyal man. Even better. Even better. Fair enough. I'll find what I... Don't let Faravid fool you. He is hiding something.
beams of rock. Baldwin, my sweet, I'm here. Are you here to steal Aldwin from me? Oh, but of course. His handsome face is a sight to behold. Troubles of the heart. I'm merely a worm next to a flower such as he. My words are not captured as fancy. He is immovable. You chose the wrong words. Listen to you. If you're such a poet, help me open the door to his heart. Men are vain creatures. Sing of his strength and beauty. Compare him to a powerful mountain. I shall try it your way, wordsmith. Hold wing. Your shoulders stand tall and hulking like the king of the hills. My lips long to be caressed by your forested beard. Ugh. I will wait forever, Aldween. You seem an ill match for Aldween. You could find love elsewhere. I refuse. Aldween's scent, the fermented hops on his breath. He's unmatched by any other stallion at the alehouse. I'm sure. Good luck then, dear. I've done all I can. Go, Zulin. <laughs> that must be fat of its camp ahead. Cold and dirty must be the place. Throw yourself in, Gunungagap, you bastard! I am. Fat of it! Ah, oh, Eivor, my friend. Is Donacaster hospitality to your liking? I would be careful calling this one friend, Faravid. The crow who comes flapping when Haftan gives a whistle. Haftan and I spoke, and what of it? This is our fight, our chance for glory. Fly on home, crow. Lend me a knife, Faravid. This whelp needs gelding. Ofer, piss off. Small men always talk big. So, was Hafton generous? Did you get what you came for? If I help with your fight against the Picts, Hafton will consider me a friend. So point the way, Fanavid. The Picts raided that monastery, plundered its silver and gold. The Saxons built more churches than barns and filled them with hurt. Yes, monasteries make tempting targets, and not just for us. We tracked Pictish raiders heading north. Gold is fine, but victory is our treasure. To open their bellies with my knife. I'm ready to fight. Hoftan didn't send you north to fight a skirmish we could win with half our numbers. You question my word. You never gave it. Then I give you my word, Faravid. I am here to fight Picts. To arms, dogs! Let's roast some pigs! Yeah! 
What's for ambushes? Should have stayed in Doracastre. More me, fewer picks. There's no glory in guard duty. Move out! The picks are just ahead. Lead the way and we'll watch your back. Stronger already. Thank Thor we made it. That was good war work, all. This cave is a passage. The Picts are using it to cross the mountain. A gift for us. You track them through the cave. We'll circle around back.
ungodly places. I should be home filling my belly. Not mucking about on the wrong side of the wall. Ah, boil your head. We'll gang forth with our friends soon and then we'll all eat like kings. Heed my words. Wrong side of the wall. The Picts marched this winter with help from an unknown quarter. Picks spoke of Stenway, their camp. That's to the north. Their chief may be there. Danes, run! Stop them before they reach Stenway! They spotted us! Run forward! Run! Faster! The Faster! Tell the chief! Raiders, the Picts don't raid often during winter. The scouts are dead. The Picts won't know we're here. The Hornets have led us to their nest. More than a chief up there. Looks like the forward camp of an army. But would the Picts dare attack in winter? Hafton thinks not. And the Picts may use that to their advantage. Let's find out. Why would the pigs make war in winter? Why would the pigs make war in winter? They must have a reason, something to gain. Not a 
blood price. You're on the wrong side of the giant's wall, friend. Have you come to make war in winter? <laughs> Fool! He might have talked! We got what we came for. Is that more Frankish wine? I'll take a few casks. And that silver there! Ofer, that's Hafton's share. Eivor! Just in time to divide the spoils. Take some meat, if you like. The Picts had Magnus. This map spells it out. Ah, the wolf kissed is a reader. That's Dark Seder I'll never mess with. Worry about the Picts later. Now's the time for treasure and spoils. You earned it. It should be ours. We did the work. All of it. And nothing for half done. Warming his cock in a Saxon castle. Open that cask and we'll have a taste. We'll celebrate together. Sorry, friend, but that's Hafton's take. You understand. You won't notice one missing cask. So unless that... There's nothing wrong with it, friend. If you insist, we'll all... A little sour, but not bad. 
I've always preferred ale myself, or spiced mead. What I won't drink is one of Moira's herbal brews. She claims they're a tonic, but there's no telling what she hides in those drinks. Moira? I met her at the feast. She's a herbalist from the north, always skulking in the shadows of Hafton's throne. It's a big throne. Don't you all skulk around it from time to time? Why all these doubts, Eivor? You're a warrior, not a rumor monger. Doubt is too strong a word. But there is a feeling of mistrust among you. I want this alliance to be ironclad. Then let me change your mind. I've got a plan to win this war for good before the winter sets in. Magnus is a strong fort, but we'd be attacking from the south. With speed, we'll catch them off guard. With Halfton's blessing, I'd fight beside you anywhere. Name the time and place. No, Hafton is done fighting for the winter. He thinks it too great a risk. But I say we can win this war before the next snow. If we tell him of this plan, he'll refuse. But if we succeed, you and I together, he'll sing our praises all the louder. There are no secrets in this world or the next. The Old Father sees everything. We need not fear Odin's eye, only Hafton's wrath. I must return to Danacastra for a time, but I will join you for this battle. Deliver this goblet to my Jarl, he has a fondness for them, and tell him his share of the spoils is coming. When you're ready, find me near Jorvik at the place. Like his cock, eh? Nice to see Sigurd back with May I see you? You have a keen eye for quality. I feel like a proud father. Look how strong. Done for now. I must be on. Be well, my friend.
Slow sips, Halfton. It helped. Drink the rest. Yes, yes. Thank you, Moira. That is all for now. The soothing herbs lift the fog from my mind for a time. How long has she been mixing these for you? You're stalling, Eivor. Tell me what you've learned, what news from the north. The pigs were beaten back. We took their lives and their treasures. Farovid asked me to deliver this. Is he taunting me? Farabit poisons the wine he gifts me. These goblets are a cruel joke. He is mocking me. We did capture some barrels of Frankish Black. He said they were for you, but I made him open a cask. We drank together. There was no poison. Speak without guise, Eivor. Does he plot against me, or no? Does he keep secrets? Give me something I can use. Now you must choose between treason and madness. Between the serpent's fang and the bite of a rabid wolf. Faravid asks for my silence. But Hafton expects the truth. If I'm not careful, these lies will pile up, one upon the next. You have grown awfully silent, Wolfkist. I fought some hard battles at Faravid's side, and I found him to be an honorable man. No, no, he's a wily one, that man. He has got you fooled as well. You must keep digging. Where is he now? What is he doing? We're to meet at a place called the Waltz. Good. Go to him. Watch, listen, unearth his lies. You will find them. If you fear poison, Lord, you must consider everything. Even Moira's brew. Impossible. Moira has been with me for an age. She is the fool. Perhaps you can speak with her, and if you learn something, find me north of Donnycaster. He'll be on top. We're going for a walk down to the temple. I should...
Show me. not here. This letter came from Week. She must have gone there. We should go to Week. Find more of it. Go to Wick. Find Moira. Small village. Moira's house must be near. It's a small village. Moira's house must be near. Come, come, don't be shy. Are you sure there isn't? I tempt you with something else? I will... Let's see you, old friend. Come on out of there, you hate What is this ruckus? Stand back, Jane. There's a witch within that house. We've come to burn it down. She's no witch. She's Hafton's healer. That proves it! Dark Matt, clear out, all of you! Come on out of there, you heathen lover!
Moira, we must go. Before they burn your cutters to cinders. I can't go out there. They'll steal me away and burn me at the stake. All right. I see two ways out of this, but neither is without risk. Do what you must, only hurry. I leave myself in your hands. I'm as good with words as I am with weapons. Lead on, then. Go home, all of you. This woman is in my care now. Who died and made you sovereign of Northumbria now? I am the wolf kissed, killer of men, feeder of ravens. Stand back, or I will wear your bones as ornaments. Jesus. Hey, hey, hey. Leave this woman alone. Even look her way again, that will be the last thing you see. Moira, you're safe to go. Be safe here. Thank you, Eivor. A thousand times I thank you. And if I asked you to drink your own brew? I would, gladly. And often do from time to time, to ensure it's not overly bitter before serving to Hafton. When you said there's no cure for what ails Hafton, you mean his touch in the head? I fear so. The same malady bedeviled my mother. The body breaks down and the mind falls apart over time. It's a terrible thing. I need your help, Moira. The brews you mix for Hafton. What goes into them? Oh, quite a diverse mixture. Let me see. Lavender, rosemary, meadow sweet, yarrow, soothing herbs. Nothing uncommon. I should return to Hafton. He said he would be a tread lightly this topic with him. Need your eyes, my friend. Zunin, <laughs> guide me. Often, good to find you here. The raven feeder returns. Now keep quiet. I'm hunting a band of traitors lurking about this swamp. Who told you there are traitors here? My scout. He asked me to join him here, but he is nowhere to be found. Have a look around. Tell me if you see something. Hey, Vora. Search the... Pa could be spying from above. Not walk what do you see? Hold on! Speak to us! Where are you? He's 
clinging to life. I should carry him down. I found your scout, but his wounds are grave. Olaf. Poor Olaf. He will be buried with honors. I will see to that. Walk the bridge, old friend. I will see you on the other side. The Anton may track his attackers. Get them, boys. Good boy. Follow their trail. Who are these men you suspect of treason? Thieves who stole my war spoils. It looks abandoned. Are you sure some the trail ends, but nobody's here? <clears throat> Here, a hidden entrance. It might be lurking below. I've done it. You must hurry. These pipes burst and flooded the tunnel. Even this old Roman work cannot withstand the icy kiss of Winter's goddess. Look there. The pipes cut through that wall. Could there be more rooms beyond? You have done it. We must hurry. Hold on, we'll find a way through. Give me a hand over here! Can't do this alone. The Romans were fine craftsmen. These chambers are vast and decorated, and laced with piping. Yet they went mad and vanished, just like their gods. Moira's books tell us so. Ah, here, you see? Spoils of war. Mine! Stolen from me! Set on all sides, Ave. What kings and jarls are not? Every day, decisions I make change the lives of thousands. It is a burden few could bear. You spoke with Moira. What did you learn? She means well. I don't believe she would poison you, not willingly. <clears throat> she also said she has seen your illness before, in her own family. Said it came on slow, but was 
incurable. No. No, this is not an illness. Shh. Listen. These will be the thieves who stole my tribute. And half done. Well met. Come, fill your bellies with mead. You stole this tribute. By your rights, this is mine. It was meant for me. We stole nothing. Faravid gifted this to us for a hard day's battle. And did you take my scout Olaf in that battle? Your brother in arms? Did he too have to die for this tribute? That was. That was Olaf? Damned fool! We thought he was a thief! The only thieves here are the ones drinking my mead and spit-shining my silver! You! Cowards and traitors! We are owed this bounty, Jarl! For battles won and blood let! Eivor, you tell him! This is treason. And treason is part- Faravid treated us better than you- Faravid is nothing. You are less. Glory! Forced my hand. Take hold of your fear, Hafton. It can poison your mind. Faravid killed this man, not me. He forced my hand with slights and trickery. He. <coughs> Forgive me. I... You have a meeting with Faravid. I do. Yes, I know the place well. It is on the road. Press him, Eivor! As hard as you can! No right. They had no right to... It's rightfully mine! Yes.
Oh my brother! Die! Notice to all under God's eye, wrath has come to our fair town. Be gone or be doomed. There's nowhere left to go. Please, don't hurt me. Why are you here alone? I remain with my family. The wither... The withering. A disease that often goes unnoticed until it destroys the mind and heightens a... Leave here, child. Your family will soon go. But, Papa... They will find peace in death. Live for them. They would want that. I... I cannot hold on any longer to what is already lost. I will go. Here. If you want to check on the sick yourself. If I'm to leave, I'll get it again. My head. Swim. No! A demon. This town leaves behind a bitter legacy. But such is the way of this world. It will not save them, but at least it might ease their suffering. The stench. They've endured much, it seems. This illness rots the mind of the afflicted. Hmm. A list of names, ages. All, all killed by a plague. The withering. Hey, Vor. Welcome. Join me in drinking. You made it. Come, have a drink. You're a few horns deep already? <laughs> Yet still floating. Tell me, how did my old friend like his goblet gift? There were other things on his mind. Your man Ulfra, for instance. He died protecting the spoils he stole from Hafton. Ulfra. Poor Ulfra. I told him to mind your tongue, but he wags it like a slobbering dog. Was Hafton always so easily riled? No. Riches and glory have shaped him into something new. He is not the same man he used to be. The songs of scalds and the glint of silver can turn even the best of us. He was a fierce man in days past, but he has lost the bite he once had. He's too careful. He ruminates and hesitates. What is this place? I expected an army ready for Warcraft. This was our first camp in Northumbria. I came here with Hafton and his brothers, Uba and Ivar. We besieged Jorvik and put King Alla in the cold ground. Those were good days, now too far gone. What is all this? My share of the treasure we took from those distant days. I buried it here for a rainy day. This bag is heavy with silver. Enough to pay for an army. Come! Race me to Jorvik, Eivor. Remind me of the glories. You're too drunk. Then have a drink. 
What's keeping you, friend Eivor, waiting for spring? <coughs> your horse can smell the ale dripping from your mouth. You frighten her. It warms my heart that you're concerned, but Hulda and I can hold our drink. Having trouble keeping up. My horse must be deeper in the cups than I am. What are we doing in Yorwick? You haven't said. Paying a visit to our kept King Rishier. Long may he reign. I haven't enough men to beat the Picts alone, but with Rishier and his feared, we'll finish them off. You'd bring a puppet king into this fight, but not your yaw? <laughs> Keep this to yourself. The streets have ears, the windows have eyes. I did not agree to this level of deception. You should have told me this before. Eivor, my friend. If I describe my full strategy, we might never leave the campfire. I'd prefer the light of a fire to the darkness of your plans. Don't do it again. Things are better now, are they not? Ever since Alden. Speak not that blasted sea. Gwyneth, Eivor, 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 I've been afraid to touch even a drop of wine since the Yuletide feast. One more reason to stick with ale. I wish Yuletide happened every month. The daily slog kills me. Wait. A favor I must ask of you. Make no mention that Hafton is ignorant of our plans. It's better this way. Are you mad? Grisha answers to Hafton. You put this man in grave danger if he defies his master's will. Richier cannot defy orders he has never heard, no? Trust me, I will take the blame should our plan fall apart. Eivor the wolf kissed and half done's cupbearer. What a curious surprise. I hope the day finds you and Jorvik well. Yes, we scrape by, with what little we still own. But this new war should make us wealthy once again, until our tribute is taken. I smell the bile on your breath, King. Do not forget who is in charge here. Oh, do remind me, Faravid. Yesterday it was half done. But today, I hear whispers that you are leading the charge. I am... confused. Yes, you answer to Hafton. And now, he orders one final strike on the picked stronghold at Magnus. To make war with the North on such a scale will require a hefty amount of silver and a large force of men. My soldiers and silver are pledged already. I expect the same from you. I have given my aid as well. The battle must be decisive. I see. And you have these orders from half... Not with us, but you can rest assured Hafton has need of you. He expects a swift victory. 
I'm sorry, Faravid, but duty compels me to refuse. Without strict... You deny me! I do. To gift you an army puts my wealth and reputation at risk. That's not what Hafton wants. He needs a strong and loyal king. You presume to know what Hafton wants. Hearsay is not enough. For all I know, this is another of Hafton's tests. Greatest snake in Northumbria, that Saxon is. We need his army to take Magnus. And we'll have it. If we fortify orders from Hafton ourselves. You would do this? Draw up fake orders and pass them off as real? That's it. And I know just who to speak with. Hjor of Jorvik. He'll know what we need. Good. Hjor's favorite alehouse is nearby. Seek him there. Under Arden, you're just where I hoped you would be. Eivor, gods, you have come at just the right moment. Right then, watch this. Go home or get hurt, but you won't bother my friends. I'll bother who I please after I brick your face to the brains. Thank you, Wolfkist. Those men will wake up soon enough. With greater sense, I hope. What brings you back to Jorvik? Secret errands for Hafton. I need an army of men to face the Picts in the north. Has Hafton planned an attack he cannot afford? That's not like him. To be clear, Faravit made this plan, not Hafton. Does Hafton know of this plan, or...? He doesn't. But he's given me leave to act as I must, for reasons I cannot share. Yes, we've heard the rumors, and all our messages have gone unanswered. Can you aid me with some trickery? Help me forge a set of orders from ha You will be taking quite a risk. We can meet outside the Royal Hall. Eivor, join me for a drink. You both seem to have settled well in this- Yes. We do enjoy the comforts we have. The cold, and the warmth. Stay on the road safe, Eivor. I try to. <laughs> <laughs> 